Hello and welcome to this video, a 5 minute chess game. We get the black pieces. Open Sicilian. How is he going to develop? There are so many choices. Okay. So this is what well, he's planning to come with his knight somewhere here to protect this pawn. Okay, now let's challenge this knight. So, okay. Castles. Let's sign on this square. And see. So he doesn't see this checkmate. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get another game. Let's go e4. So I don't think it's worth it just to stop on that game and analyze it. I've already anal analyzed a similar game um, before. So let's get another game going. There is no, there is no, uh, there is nothing really there to analyze. It's just a trap that he fell for, the fishing pool trap. Now. Hmm, I'm at tech here. Play on the queen. Victory. And he resigns. Okay. Um, okay, these were quick, so... I'm gonna take another game. Ready. Um, yes, uh, With these, with such games, I don't think really worth it to go to the analysis. Because nothing really happened except for this plunder, for plunder, upon plunder, or falling for the fishing pool trap. So, let's see if we can get a real game that, that we can stop by and analyze. So, what's this? Okay. Let's ask this knight the question. Is he gonna stay? Is he gonna take? Is he gonna protect him again? So he takes. And I would like to push now. Okay, now <clears throat> let's just develop. And I can take here now because of this pin. So this is pinned, can take him, I come with the queen. I am on the knight as well, so he needs to do something about that. This knight is not defended, so he tries to get my bishop. This might be a move. Or he might just block. No, this not this. This move is not working. He needs to block with this pawn, or maybe this bishop. Mm, but then, let's see how is he gonna go here. I can take this pawn because because this bishop is. Wait a second, so this bishop is pinned. If I take, he closes on my bishop. I need to retreat to square, to, any, to um, a square on the G file, or else I'm drawing this knight. So I need to be very careful. So he does this, now I need just to retreat to a square on the G file to protect this knight. 
or to not to drop this knight. And if he comes here, I just come with my rook to the g file, facing his queen, and probably push in the center next. It depends, let's see. So now I have these two bishops that they are not really doing anything. They are blocked and stopped by this pawn. Okay, now mm, <clears throat> I'm just gonna treat with my With my knight now, I need to protect these, this pawn. There's no need to take this knight yet. So, so I don't like the idea of getting this past B pawn. I need to keep an eye on it all the time. So let's see if we can play around this knight on B6. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can castle. I can try to... Let's castle. What now? Is he coming with the queen here? Let's block this queen. The queen coming here, threatening this piece. Now, let's try to undermine this knight and open, try to open some play for my pieces. How is he gonna react? He is in the thinking mode and let's guess. So he takes, I'm gonna take with the queen, even though that I'm drumming this pawn, I know, but I'd rather continue with a game without queens. Okay, so this was quick. Let's go here, prepare for the double on the D file. I need not to forget that this bishop is not protected. What's the idea behind this move? I don't really get it, but let's kick him back soon. On either one of these squares, I prefer the C7 square because I'm protecting this, this entry point. But mm, let's see. How is he going to continue? So he attacks this. In this case, I need to come here, not to get in the way of the rook after this capture. So now he blocks. And let's defend this bishop. And now I can push this pawn. And... Hmm. So, this is interesting. I'm gonna trade my bishop for this knight. And 
let him take is there any discovery let's check real quick no get rid of one of these rooks so the less pieces the less threat i have against my king let's take here and then take this pawn and time is up good game let's head now to the analysis board and check with the computer mm. so here this was a mistake why take if i take like this why is it a mistake i thought about this move anyhow but i thought he's gonna develop his bishop naturally to this square so i didn't see any point really of pinning this knight for one second There is this pawn which is not defended. Maybe that's the idea. So he cannot defend this pawn and unpin this knight at the same time. Now I see that. So now I can take here. That's, inter that's interesting. I didn't see this pawn that it was not defended anyhow we continue now i i wanted this to either come here and take take or provoke this uh this uh, h4 advance and he fell for it let's say and waited for him to castle and this is obviously falling so I thought about queen here because it's a sensible move to get rid of the queen it's very annoying in this position and it protects this knight he did not do that he does this so what's the, the difference between these two squares for my knight let's see what's wrong with this one. Oh, so he can take here Okay, anyhow, in the game, I went back, right? I went back, he should have closed against my bishop. He did not. He played this, which I did not understand. Eyeing this square, this square. The queen is here, so I took this one. And it's a mistake. Now I see that... The bishop can come here and I need just to retreat with my queen. Okay, so it's not really the best move and the best move is go here, get out of any threat in this mate. This is the only move or maybe with the bishop but if he comes with a bishop I can give mate here on this square Check. 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 so it's it's not mate but it's very very bad for white and what about the queen if the queen comes here <laughs> I can still give the check check so it's a little bit similar i'm eyeing defending this square with this move so i need to be careful not to move my queen but it's a little bit annoying for black the king cannot move very easily cannot castle it's not really that comfortable so it's still good but it's not as comfortable as as before okay so this is this is not 
what we have in the game he closed now on my bishop and i had to retreat with my queen i didn't want to take this pawn um i wanted to leave my queen on this file facing this king so now he tags this is possible i thought if i do this he's gonna take on bassin and he cannot take on bassin because of this pin this I did not see. Okay, so it's possible this move. I thought that I'm helping this bishop to see its way to my king. So I did not want to take or advance here at the moment. So I went back with my knight. I could have taken. Let's take. Oh, this is threat with mate. This is also something to to learn in this game i thought about only this advanced pawn and it's passing yeah it's very hard for me to defend against this so i need always to keep an eye on this square he can easily come with the bishop either square and it's really not comfortable i'm gonna just lose a piece or just let one of my pieces sitting on uh, the uh, p7 square preventing this pawn from moving and it's really not comfortable working around bishop on this square but this move this is a killer move because i'm on the queen i'm also threatening mate so he had to give up his queen and that's game over for white then i didn't do that I just castled okay now so I thought that he might come here with the queen these two bishops are not protected right now if I want to protect any of them let's see let's see if I if I don't move my um, bishop if I come like this he's gonna come with his queen these two are not defended if I ever defend anyone this is falling and yeah if I take here he might take here and yeah so I did not like it really to allow the queen to come to this square so I tried to prevent this altogether he goes back okay now i try to open some stuff because i saw the queen here the mate here at this moment i wanted to open stuff up you may say it's a little bit late but yeah okay i take i take with the rook prepare for doubling up he goes back i prefer to prefer to develop uh, double up on this um, d file this is a move i didn't think about this defense in this pawn indirectly because of the spin so i can just push after that anyhow i want to take rid of this knight because it's beginning to give me some troubles and i need to be careful to get uh, into any fork for this uh, with the knight and he might pick up one of my rooks so it was getting annoying so i let him take this bishop and now i wanted to get rid of one of the rooks he did not take here uh, this is a mistake because i can take now here and then take this pawn that was my idea but I think the game finished before that took and at this point so okay and after that of course the plan is to launch these pawns to promotion 
very interesting game especially i find these these lines here very instructive so this blockade is okay fine so <clears throat> this is a very nice move i should have thought about that and also the other one is when the knight is here i can take and pretty much he cannot take back so this is very very nice to consider and to note other than that it's just pretty much like preventing the queen from invading and get rid of the queen when 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 suitable get rid of the knight <clears throat> this is interesting should have always kept this bishop in a pin maybe maybe it's playable because he might just move his king so it might not really be a long time solution but it's um it's it's a good plan i think just to try it once at least okay so that would be it i think very interesting game hope you got something from it the same that i did and see you next game